So, a couple days ago I went ahead and checked out the new beta release of Pop! OS 21.10, and one of the most important things of that actual release was the addition of a ARM version, or a version that you can install on a Raspberry Pi. I was really excited about that until I realized I don't actually own a Raspberry Pi. And for what I do, I'm a tech geek, basically, who spends his free time tinkering with things, playing around with distribution software. Out of anything in this earth I should own, it should be a Raspberry Pi. I went ahead and purchased myself a Raspberry Pi, and this is not your normal Raspberry Pi. This is the Raspberry Pi 4 Starter Max Kit. Featuring 64 gigabyte a uh, little SD or micro SD card, and it has 8 gigabytes of RAM, a case, and a couple other things. This right here is the Amazon listing for this. You can see some of the stuff it comes with. I don't know that much about a Raspberry Pi, so this was 150. I could have completely spent way too much money. I probably don't need some of this stuff but it was cool to get anyways. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is just quickly unboxing it and checking out some of the hardware. And then the first video that I do with it is probably gonna be actually checking out Pop! OS. So make sure you're subscribed and you ring that bell so you do not miss that video. So first things first, without showing you guys my address, I'm gonna open this real quick. And if we go ahead and take a look at the webcam over here, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up to expose what is inside. So what do we got here? First of all, it looks like we have some typical paper stuff. Read me first. We have some more stuff. Here, taped to the actual charger, it looks like that we have some of the uh, heat sinks. So that's pretty cool. Additionally, in here, it looks like we have an HDMI cord. And that looks like we have a second HDMI, so we could do a dual camera setup if we wanted to. Now, looking back in here, we have the USB-C power supply. So you can take a better look at that over here. Can a kit. And here, what is this thing? This looks like our 64 gigabyte micro SD card in there. Uh, right here, this is kind of cool. We have our little uh, fan. Our little CPU cooler. That's one of the, the cutest things I've ever seen my entire life. Now looking at in here, we still have a lot more goodies to go through. So next, this is going to be our power switch or our Pi switch. So you could take a look at that. Now in here, we have our actual Raspberry Pi. Now I'm gonna be opening this up separately in just a minute. Let's see what other goodies we have in this box. I'm honestly not too sure exactly what this is. It looks like it's a, uh, yeah, it looks like you put the micro SD in there and then you could plug it in to a USB. And then in here we have the actual little computer case that we're going to be uh, putting the Pi in eventually. And then of course we have our quick start guide. So I shouldn't be needing that anymore. So first things first, we have our Raspberry Pi computer. You see it's Model B with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Let's go ahead and open this up real quick. I'm going to use this webcam. This is the first time I'm doing this kind of two camera setup. So I don't have enough lights yet. So bear with me. It's a little darker over here. Oh, there we go. Ooh, look at that. Here, I'm going to put it over here in the light so you all can see it pretty good. There is our Raspberry Pi. Let's let it get the focus. Let it get the highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and very carefully pull this out and set this on this box right here for now. And it looks like within this thing there are some additional instructions. So this little card is actually uh, telling us how to hold it and how not to hold it here. So don't touch the processor. Pretty obvious things, but some people might need that. And then of course we have a little uh, safety and user guide here. So this right here is our Raspberry Pi. So there's some of the IO of our Raspberry Pi. Looks like we have an ethernet port. I'm not sure if it's a gigabit, but we it's there. Uh, then we have USB 3 and USB 2.0 ports. And then on this side for some of the I.O., it looks like we have our two HDMI ports, a USB-C port, and an audio jack. And then down here on the bottom, we have a spot, hope I go like this, we have a spot to go ahead and put our uh, micro SD card. You think that's a good thumbnail? I don't know. I usually don't put my face in thumbnails. Now, like I said, I'm not too familiar with these Raspberry Pis. This is my first time actually holding one, so I'm going to figure out a little bit more about this thing real quick. Alright, so here's the tech specs of this Raspberry Pi right here. 
Uh, looks like we have a new more powerful processor. Beautiful. Gigabit internet. So yes, we do have full gigabit internet. USB, USB uh, 2, so basically everything I said. Your choice of RAM, so that black chip right above the processor is our 8 gigabytes of RAM. And then of course we have the processor here. Now if we go down here, as far as the processor, this is running a Broadcom BCM2711 Quad Core Cortex A72 ARM V8 64-bit SOC at 1.5 gigahertz. So we got some quad core CPU action on this little guy. And then of course, this is the eight gig model with that LPDDR4 memory. And then we have the Raspberry Pi standard uh, 40 pin header, which is uh, this guy right here. Like I said, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna be doing with that quite yet. It has power over internet, so that is gonna be a very handy feature. And then we have a couple other little smaller ports on here. So there's a two lane camera port, a display port, uh, stereo audio composite video port so you can see some of these other little connectors on here and I've seen some of the other projects where people use this with like uh, the IP cameras for home security systems things like that um, so I'm not going to talk about this too much because I've exerted all the information I actually know about the thing we have one very last thing to unbox and that is this little uh, case that it decided to come with this is the Canakit Raspberry Pi 4 case this is the white one, so you can see it there, looking beautiful. So let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. And here it is, it looks rather nice. So there we are. If we take a look over here, you can see the case has a open port. Well, their logo is actually open ventilation, which is nice. We have uh, spots for all of our IO here. Here we go. The bottom has some grip, some feet pad, and it looks very ventilated. So let's see how easy it is to throw this in here. Ooh, so that top comes off real easy. There's no special instructions with this case, so I'm just gonna wing it and slide it on in here. Okay, so winging it probably isn't the best thing to do. Looks like the bottom comes off too, there we go. So now, what I'm going to assume is I'm just going to set this down like so. Make sure all those ports are kind of snug in there. So these slide under here. There we go, and this should slide in perfect. So it looks like that is fairly stable. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on. So this is the, uh, the outside of it. So let's go ahead and set that on down. You can see it uh, sliding over these uh, ports here. So just like that. And it's on there. So there we go, we have our Raspberry Pi. So this is what it looks like with the I.O. We have our other ports here on the side and everything is labeled. And then we have our little slot right there for our uh, micro SD or our hard drive. And on the actual top, it's gonna get covered, but you can see right there, it says there is a spot to like attach the Pi camera. And then we have some indicators for our internet and USB connections. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this top on, like so, or maybe it goes the other way. So let's slide that on. So there we go. We have our little Raspberry Pi micro computer. So I'm really excited to go ahead and play with this. If you guys have any suggestions, any preferences, any comments that you would like to mention, please let me know down below things you want checked out, projects you want to see done. The uh, main thing I personally want this for is to test uh, ARM-specific Linux distributions, but uh, this will all come with time. With all that said, I would like to thank our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. We have Mitchell Valentino, Phil, Matt, Kyle, Timo, Anthony, and Chris Curtis. Thank you all so much. I got so used to saying those three names. It's going to take, uh, take me a minute to get your name, Chris, but I promise I will. And also, to be completely blunt and honest, I used the uh, proceeds from the Patreon supporters to go ahead and purchase this thing. So, you guys are supporting the channel, you are supporting 
uh, different types of content that is on this channel, and I do thank you guys very much for that, including all the other Techie and Techie Plus members. Thank everybody for your support. If you want to support the channel, you can over on Patreon or here on YouTube. On YouTube, you get extra emojis, but if you don't feel like supporting the channel, I understand. You can just throw this video a like, subscribe, ring that bell so you do not miss any future uploads, maybe share this video with some of your friends, or some of the other videos that I actually give some more valuable information. Uh, with all that said, I hope you have a beautiful day, and goodbye.